Panu sa Spiritu Santo, ang gracia sa ito ginawa ni Su Cristo na lupa sa Diyos, hugan na nang iusa sa Spiritu Santo, mana ka rin niyo. We are gathered here today to witness the marriage of Christian to Maria Luna. From the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, follow the way of love, even as Christ loved you. He gave himself for us, husbands, love the wives, as Christ loved the church. He gave himself up for her, to make her holy, purifying her in the bath of water by the power of the Word, to present himself a glorious church, holy and immaculate, without stain or wrinkle or anything of that sort. Husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Observe that no one ever hates his own flesh. No, he nourishes it and takes care of it as Christ cares for the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cling to his wife, and the two shall be made into one. This is a great foreshadowing. I mean that it refers to Christ and the Church. My brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees came up to Jesus and said to test him, May a man divorce his wife for any reason whatever? He replied, Have you not read that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female and declared, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two shall become one. Thus they are no longer two, but one flesh. Thus let no man separate what God has joined. My brothers and sisters, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Dear Christian and Maria Luna, God created you in His own image and likeness, calling you existence. He called you at the same time for love. For this reason, the central word of revelation, God loves His people, is likewise proclaimed through the living and concrete word whereby a man and woman express their conjugal love. Your mother love, Christian and Maria Luna, becomes the image and the symbol of a covenant which unites God and His people. This revelation reaches its definitive fullness in the gift of love, which the Word of God makes to humanity in assuming human nature and in the sacrifice which Jesus Christ makes of Himself on the cross for His pride the Church. In this sacrifice, there is entirely revealed that plan which God has imprinted on the humanity of man and woman since their creation 
the merits of baptized persons thus becomes a real symbol of a new and eternal covenant sanctioned in the blood of Christ. The Spirit which the Lord pours forth gives a new heart and renders men and women capable of loving one another as Christ has loved us. We are here today to seal your love with an eternal bond before the church. I assure you of the prayers of our community that God may pour His abundant blessings on your love and help you to carry out the duties of the married state. And you, dear brothers and sisters, may ask you to help them with your prayers and accept them as a new couple in our Christian community. So, I mean, I'll ask Christian and Maria Luna to please answer truthfully the following question. Did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Christian, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, I did. Christian and Maria Luna, are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, will you please uh, face one another and then hold your right hands? Christian and Maria Luna, since you wish to contact Holy Men, 